welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I wanted to come on and give you a confirmation that I received from the Holy Spirit about people who were co-defendants in the case in Georgia about the election interference. And I want to show you three videos that confirm the prophetic message I received. Then I will play my prophetic message that I received, and then I will end the video. The first co-defendant of Donald Trump pleaded guilty today in the Georgia election interference case. Bail bondsman Scott Hall is accused of trying to breach election equipment to access voter data. He's one of 19 defendants indicted for trying to overturn the 2020 election in that state. Hall will receive five years of probation and he's agreed to testify. Now for the second one. All rise. Superior Court of County. Who has five lawyers who are also medical doctors? The most of any law firm in America. Klein. It was a major development this morning as former Trump lawyer Sidney Powell pleaded guilty in the Fulton County election interference case after reaching a plea agreement with prosecutors. Donald Trump's former lawyer has now been sentenced to six years of probation. She's also been ordered to pay $6,000 in a fine and a $2,700 in restitution. Powell will also be required to testify truthfully at all hearings and trials involving co-defendants. CBS News reporter Graham Cates joins us now from outside a separate and a different Trump trial. Uh, but Graham, Powell had been scheduled to go to trial with co-defendant Kenneth Chesbro down there in Georgia. Just walk us through exactly who she is, what this plea agreement means exactly. Sure. Now, Cindy Powell is uh, an attorney who was uh, allied with former President Trump. She was very much one of the spearheads of his kind of post-election campaign to uh, overturn the 2020 results in Georgia, uh, extensively involved in that effort, filed many lawsuits on his behalf, was at White House meetings, uh, really one of the key players in this. And uh, just in the immediate term, you mentioned uh, Ken Chesbro. This uh, could have dire impacts on him. You mentioned that she um, has a agreed to testify um, in the trials of co-defendants, and he has his coming back up, uh, coming up right away. And I uh, reached out to his attorney right now. They're not commenting, but they said at this time, I think they're still processing what this means for them. So the shockwave still being felt. Um, talk to us about what's at stake then, Graham. How could this guilty plea by Powell impact the case in Georgia against Donald Trump? You know, it's really a potentially enormous development, and not just for this case, but also for the kind of similar special counsel January 6th case. Uh, Powell has already given a recorded proffer. That's where she um, agrees that certain information alleged um, against her and others is true. And now she uh, is willing to testify against others and provide documents requested by uh, prosecutors. And these cases are very closely linked. So if she's willing to provide them to the Fulton County DA, uh, we spoke to a former federal prosecutor who said um, it's inevitable that special counsel Jack Smith is going to say, if you can talk to that prosecutor, you can talk to our office as well. And again, she was really core to the team orchestrating this effort. All right, Graham Cates joining us live from New York. Graham. So that's important for the case about the insurrection from January 6th. Now the last video. Biore blemish patches, absorb person oil, visible results. Uh, Laura, first to you, the significance of Kenneth Chesbro switching his plea, now following what Sidney Powell did just uh, the other day, switching his plea to guilty. It seems to have my read this on this one count, uh, count 15, it is a felony of filing false docu documents. But it seems to me it's a very light sentence. There was a minimum sentence of one to five uh, incarceration. 
and he ended up with a fine community service and letter of apology. Uh, it, it, uh, Andrea, it's hard to overstate, I think, the significance of what we have just watched unfold here. You have somebody who prosecutors believe was at the center of the scheme um, to create false slates of electors to put forth to National Archives and Congress in a scheme to try to overturn the will of the people, overturn uh, the election results in Georgia, who has now pled guilty to a felony. This is the first one we have seen plead guilty to a felony. And in return for his cooperation, for his help to prosecutors, he is getting probation. That means he has given them something significant um, to the likes of what we saw yesterday with his co-defendant, Sidney Powell, another attorney who was also at the center of these schemes to overturn the election, who also pled guilty and also receiving probation in return for her cooperation. Now to have the two of them together, again, I, I cannot sort of uh, overstate enough how significant this is. Now, for the prophetic message I received from the Holy Spirit. Hello. The second, 2023. A two-part scheme, a ploy that will not be subverted, a playful aficionado, one with much bravado to divert attention away from evidence with delays and circumstantial occurrences, relying on verbosity and exaggerations for sympathy, playing their hand of past wealth and influential people all around him. He is using what's available to him. The others, the others accused with him are jumping ship, for they are not quite equipped to evade the charges facing them. They're drawing their own conclusions. It doesn't look good, and there aren't many solutions. They are in dire straits now. The weight is hanging heavy upon their shoulders. Many of them are older. They will not fend well in a prison setting. They're taking their chances and betting on the easy gamble. They cannot endure a long jury trial, no. It's too much to even comprehend. Their health is already slipping away from them. Next, they think their freedom will be withdrawn as well. There's no loyalty left there for them. Plus, they know if the shoe was on the other foot, it would have been kicked off by now. No, they've decided it's time to make a deal with the prosecuting attorney. One at a time, they will. They will trade in their loyalty for their testimony against him, Donald J. Trump, 